Hi guys, God bless you guys. Back again with another video. It's Crystal Love for Jesus here. Uh, this is close to one of my last videos for this batch of videos. If I sound funny, it's because I'm sick. And um, we are watching Rapture of the Church video made July 2022. Three Rapture Prophetic Visions. And the channel name is EDC Everyday Christian. I believe that's how she's got that worded there. So let's go ahead and see what uh, she had uh, experienced. The Holy Spirit has been nudging me to make this video. I've been wanting not to make this video so bad because the Lord had gave me three prophetic visions in dreams um, of the rapture. And I said, Lord, those were very real to me and very vivid. Um, that in my spirit, they were happening. And the Lord told me, I did not give you these visions for you to be quiet. Just like he did. I wish I had that boom, like, you know, they used a the little boom moment uh, for that. Ooh, boom. I did not give you these dreams and visions for you to be quiet. Take that into note, everybody else. Come on. Daniel, that he gave him visions. That's how he gave me this vision. And he gave me the vision of the rapture three different times. Okay, so right now it's... July 2022 um, these three visions have happened in the last three years the first rapture dream before I began actually let me tell you I grew up a Christian I always had visions as a kid of the sky opening up and the rapture but I didn't I didn't see them as vividly as I've seen the dreams that I had recently Wow um the best way i can describe it is like if me looking at you face to face is 3d and the visions are like 5d they're undeniably different than a regular dream and your spirit knows it and so me growing up a christian in the last three years, God has shown himself real to me more than I've ever known being raised a Christian. And the rapture, growing up, knowing about it and having those visions and stuff as a kid, it was very normal to me. But these three dreams that I'm going to tell you are eye-opening. The first vision I had was I'm dreaming and... I'm going up at the speed of light and it's like when you see those rockets go up and you just see lights back and forth like light year like light lights like actual lights just fast and in my spirit I knew where I was going that was dream number one dream number two I was at a popular grocery store and it was at late at night and I was getting ready to get my cart and I'm getting my car, getting ready to go into the store and I'm out of my car and we began to get raptured. Our body is beginning to grow, go up like a gravitational pull. I'm going up and it is very slow motion. I'm going up and I'm looking down. I can see a lot of people that are not going. I see some people that began to look up and say, why aren't I going? Oh yeah. And God revealed to me that those are the people that are gonna know about him because of the body of Christ telling them that this was going to happen and they didn't believe it. But when they knew the person that told them that was gone, they knew. As I'm going up, I know where I'm going and I have great comfort. You're not afraid, by the way. You have comfort in knowing where you're going and who you're finally going to get to see. But I look to my left and I look to my right and we're going up. And I see to the left and to the right 
I see the body of Christ. So in this spiritual battle, we think we're alone. But let me tell you, there is that remnant that is prepared and you may not see them, but in the rapture, you will get to see them. That was dream number two. Now, dream number That's three. That's awesome. That's awesome. Those first few dreams are really cool. And uh, yeah, it's like, people are going to be so surprised. Like, why am I not going? You know, and there's like certain people that are going and certain people that are not going. And it's like, it's not always because it's not just because, you know, they're not, they're, they don't believe, but it's like, they don't, they're not keeping that relationship with Jesus, you know, getting distracted by the world. I was on a hill with my kids and I was looking down. So I was up high. I was somewhere high and I was looking down and I saw the people, just people going about their day. And I said, to God and he knew in my spirit I knew in my spirit that he was answering me um, I said the way that he translated to me let me explain this the best way that I can try to I'm looking at these people and I knew that I wasn't better than these people I, I knew that I wasn't oh so great and these people were less than me no but in my spirit I knew that God was telling me we weren't better but we were aware yeah. And I knew that when I was with my kids in the rapture on that hill, that we weren't together when the rapture happened. But when the rapture did happen, he put us together. Oh, yay. And God began to pull. I felt like this gravitational pull of God's hand going like this. And as he began to pull, it was a slow gravitational pull of his hand. I said to Jesus, to God himself, but wait, what about all the unsaved souls? And that's when God, who was about to pull us up, said with his hand, he didn't speak, left us there instead what he revealed to me in this prophetic last vision of the rapture was that we are in a grace period god can take us in any moment wow. but we're in a grace period because i thought to myself after this dream i said if i knew where i was going I knew I was going to see God. I knew I was going to see Jesus for the first time. And we believed in him for so long. I was ready. I was excited. Right. But all I said to God was, what about all these unsaved souls? And that's when God revealed something to me. He revealed that he will come when the body of Christ, the remnant, has a heart like his. That we're not going about our day concerned about the things of this world that we're concerned for others of their soul and where their soul is going. Yeah. And then he showed me the scripture, Matthew 5, that says, a city that is on a hill cannot be hid. And if you read that scripture, which I'll post at the bottom. I can read it. <laughs> I keep pressing the mute button by accident. Come on. Let's go. Matthew 5. Okay. <clears throat> Which verse? <laughs> uh, let's see. Let's see. Taking my revenge, teaching you. Did she say it exactly? 
that revealed a lot to me because I was on a hill. And they sit on a hill cannot be it. I know that verse. Sorry, guys. <laughs> Can't find it right now. And we are called to be the lights of the world. And being a light of, in the world means we're set apart. We're set apart and we cannot be hid. And that's in the Bible. And that means... I want to find this. Hang on, you guys. I'm sorry for pausing it again. I'm really messing up right now. I keep clicking my mute button. I'm sorry. Uh, we're going to find it. A, ci a city set on a hill cannot be hidden. Matthew 5.14. Thank you. <clears throat> mm-hmm. You are the light of the world, like a city on a hilltop that cannot be hidden. No one lights a lamp and then puts it under a basket. Instead, a lamp is placed on a stand where it gives light to everyone in the house. In the same way, let your good deeds shine out for all to see, so that everyone will praise your heavenly Father. Here we go. I'm messing everything up now. Sorry, guys. It's... It's getting the end of my day. I've been doing, I've been recording these videos all day and I'm starting to mess up now. My brain's going down. Um, let's go back a little bit and get this fixed here. Continue praying, seek him, let him show you his, himself, show you the truth. And let me tell you, the rapture for the body of Christ was a very beautiful thing. God bless you and I, like I said, I just wanted to show this video. I wanted to make this video out of obedience to my God. Because if I was going to make this video for me, I wasn't going to do it. Amen. But God told me, and out of obedience, I made it. Yes, out of obedience, make the video. Just like right now, I am making this video out of obedience. And I wouldn't even be doing this if it was for me, honestly. So God bless you. I hope that you received this word, like how tr how how very vivid and real it was that he revealed it to me. And I pray that it edifies your spirit. And if you're not close to God, that you wake up and you get in his word and he will show you faithful. He will show you the truth and he will show you his character. And let me tell you, he is a powerful God that is loving, but you also have to be walking with him. Amen. And I'm not saying this to say that I am any better. Right. I'm just saying this to you that God has humbled me in the last three years to seek him. And he is more beautiful than anyone can ever tell me. Uh, but it's because I know him. And I want you to know him too. And I want you to know him too. And if you know him, you're the one that's going to go. God bless you. I pray that you receive this word. Amen. Amen. Yes. Know him. You are going, the ones that are going to go are the ones that know Jesus. And I posted about this a while, not that long ago. It was like, uh, it's been a couple of weeks, but, uh, in Matthew 20, Matthew 25, Jesus told the five foolish virgins, bridesmaids, that he didn't know them. So it's only people who know Jesus who are going. How do you know Jesus? You have to have the Holy Spirit. You have to have the Holy Spirit. You have to confess with your mouth and believe in your heart that Jesus is Lord and raised from the dead. He was buried to and raised from the dead. You have to believe that in your heart, too. You have to believe that in your heart. You need to believe and receive the Holy Spirit. And then with the Holy Spirit, God's going to teach you and, he's, and you're going to learn and you're going to start to know God. So if you're questioning it, read um, 
John chapter 15 and also read 1 John. Um, all Any of the chapters of 1 John, read all the chapters. It's a small book. So I love you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And thanks for bearing with me. I was messing up a lot in this video. I guess I'm just getting tired. Uh, it's at the end of the day. So I love you guys so much. And uh, leave your comments down below. I love you. And I'll see you again in the next one. Bye.